Hi guys, I know it's been a while, but welcome back to another episode of Cash Machine Cars. So, today we're on our way to go pick up a um, 1972 Triumph Spitfire um, 1300. It's in a bit of a mess, but um, I've kind of cheated a little bit here, because um, I actually went to look at the car yesterday and took half of the money up with me. So technically, this has come out of two cash machines, basically. Uh, it, the car's £500 cash. I went up yesterday and gave the guy 250 and now I'm going up today, pick it up, put the trailer on the back, give her another 250 um, But yeah, it's, it's not too far from my house, it's only a couple of miles, um, only a couple of miles, a couple of hours away. Um, but then you know when we get there, get it on the trailer. So I thought I'd just let you guys know what I've been up to for the past year or so. Um, actually, I've moved premises from where I was before. Um, that was a while back, actually, but um, much closer to my house, which is better. Um, and well, we probably actually have completed two projects since I've been in, in there. Um, there two minis, actually. One wasn't that much work. I'll show you a picture of it here. In, didn't need that much work, just need, um, had a gearbox failure, so that needed fixing. Um, and the other one that you know, completed was a full sort of restoration, and it turned out pretty well. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to look, really. Um, that was a full sort of strip the car down, weld it up. I could obviously change these pictures. Um, strip the car down, weld it up. Um, just fix everything that was broken and then repaint the whole thing, put it all back together, and make sure it will work. Um, unfortunately, I didn't film these, um, which I should have done really, but I just didn't really have the time. Um, but yeah, we're back at it now, so hopefully, this is a good one. Right, so we just picked the car up, as you can see, it's all behind me, um, only one headline, great. Um, now it's missing a few bits to be fair, but uh, it's going to be uh, quite a bit of work, um, obviously you've seen how bad it is. Um, we'll get it dropped off at the workshop, um, hopefully I'm going to see someone to meet me there and push it because the brakes are very stuck on. So. So here's the car, we've just dropped it off, I had to take the trailer back and just pick up some parts, these panels as you can see in here, floor pans, definitely going to need those, there is no floor left in this car. Um, also I've had to dig this out to drive around because I've had to sell all my cars, unfortunately. But yeah, this hasn't run for, I reckon, I think it's, so the guy I bought it off, he hadn't had it running and he owned it for 25 years and he bought it in this condition 25 years ago and it hasn't run in all of that time I'm, I'm saying it probably hasn't run in about 30 years so the first step is going to see if we can get this thing to turn over
it looks like everything is here. Still, ev nothing's been taken off of the engine, which we, I would assume that it must have been running before it was parked up. Then I'm just going to go for the initial, see if I can turn it with the fan first. But oh no, not at all. All right, let's get a big uh, spanner on that nut down there and see if we can turn it over. All right, so the first thing we need to do really is check the oil, see if it's got any oil in it. Well, looks like it's full to the brim. Yeah, I mean that oil is absolutely full. Either it hasn't leaked anywhere, which is possible, or someone's been fiddling with it recently. All right, Let's see if this turned. Get on there. What's up then? Yeah, that looks like it. It's turning. All right, so I'm going to get some WD-40 and see if we can free up this throttle. I mean, I wouldn't take it down the road like that, but it works. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take this airbox off because been sitting for such a long time that mice and anything could have crawled in there and made a nest or something so make sure they're all clear so we don't suck anything in the engine. Yeah. To be honest, put that back on nothing really in there at all. So this one's fine, this one's seized. Bought it, but there you go. Yeah, it's come free. They feel in very good condition to be fair. All right, next step, gonna take the battery booster, plug it in, and see if it'll turn over on the key, or if it catches fire. Turned over, obviously no fuel coming through. Let's um, chuck some carb cleaner down it, see if it fires up. I imagine there'll be no spark. It looks like there's no spark to be fair, didn't even try. I'm gonna pop the cap off and see how crusty it is inside there. It's pretty clean to be fair. Yeah, there's power there. Alright, clean up some connections down here. But let's just see if we get a spark now. Still no spark by the looks of things. Okay, I'm gonna see if I've got another coil floating about. I probably do, but it might take me a while to find it. But unfortunately, the only place I know where there is a good coil is in here. between the two points just to make sure that they're clean. All right, they're a bit cleaner. Let's see if that makes a difference. It wants to go. Close. 
I mean, it fired for a minute, but to be honest, it doesn't sound too bad. There's no, um, no valve noises or anything. A little bit of a backfire, but I think that's because I'm spraying brake cleaner in it. We can probably fit up a gravity-fed fuel can to this, unseize the choke because the choke seized on. As you can tell, it's, when it fired up, it revved a bit high. And then we might actually be able to see if this thing can run on its own. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap for this video. Um, we got it running after about, I reckon, 25 years of not running. Sounded all right. Sounded okay. Um, need to get it um, running on its either its own fuel supply or I can make up a pump or something. Or if the pump's working, I can dip the um, a line into a jerry can, see if it can pull it out of that. But, yeah, a relatively healthy-looking engine. But, anyway, that's it for this video. I'm going to get it running in the next one and then strip it down and then see if we can do something about these floors that are going completely rotten in here probably going to end up taking the body off and doing everything proper restoration but yeah let me get my um, car back together so I can go home